Hey, Radio Face here, and this is episode 7, day 7 of Stardew Valley. And today is Mayor Lewis's birthday, if I recall correctly, so we're going to have to give him a gift. And last time we went to the mines, and we have a whole lot of stuff to take over to the library. Provided Gunther doesn't run off with it, that is. Good morning. Ah, oh, man, Max never wants to cuddle with me in the morning. It's quite sad, actually. Mm -hmm. Let's just make this blend in a bit better with the room decor and check what's on the television. Weather report. Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now, the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful, sunny day tomorrow. Eventually, I'm going to get a rainy day and I'll be able to go fishing. Let's see what the fortune teller has to say. Welcome back to Wellwick's Oracle. If you seek hidden knowledge of the future, well, you've come to the right place. Oh man, finally, I've been searching for the channel that gives me hidden knowledge of the future. The spirits are somewhat mildly perturbed today. Luck will not be on your side. A bat. Well, that's unfortunate. I was kind of hoping to go to the mines too. Uh, we may end up still doing it, or I can just chop a whole bunch of wood because I need quite a bit to fix that little uh, bridge down by the beach. The Queen of Sauce, that's a new one. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook, this week's dish. Are you floating? That's interesting. Stir fry is a perfect way to get some healthy greens on your plate. Saute the greens in a little sesame oil and make sure to add plenty of fresh ginger and garlic. Now breathe deeply. Ooh, that's good. You learned how to cook stir fry. Too bad I don't have a kitchen. Although, I mean, I could hold like a cast iron skillet or a wok, I guess, right over this fire in the fireplace. Ooh, hey, Clint, that was creepy. Would you like to come in and have a cup of coffee? Do you have a coffee pot that can withstand a campfire, or not a campfire, a uh, fireplace fire? Uh, hi there, good morning. Good morning, Clint. I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. That's good, because then I don't have to do that either. If you want to get the most out of the ores you find, you'll need a furnace. Are you here to sell me one? Just so happens I had an extra set of blueprints lying around. Here, I want you to have them. Are they that complicated? You couldn't just like scan them or give them to me on a USB drive? Whatever. It's, it's the thought that counts, Clint. Thank you. Learned how to craft a furnace. Nice. The furnace allows you to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrade. Hint, hint. When you've smelted a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. I c it can make your work a lot easier. Really? Well, okay. I'm heading home. Take it easy. I'll try, Clint. You have a good one, buddy. What is in the mail? Robin here. That's an interesting way to start a letter. I like it. I know there's a lot of stones scattered around your farm. If you have a surplus, you might consider having me build a well for you. Wells can be placed all over your farm and serve as convenient places to refill your watering can. Just swing by my shop with 75 stones and a thousand G when you're ready for it. Robin. I, I've got plenty of water on my farm, Robin. This this is kind of a pointless building, in my opinion, and it's expensive. Quit, quit trying to upsell me. Ooh, another letter. I see you've been exploring the old mine. You've got the adventurer's spirit. That much I can tell. If you can slay ten slimes, you'll have earned your place in my adventurer's guild. Be careful. Marlin. Sweet Marlin noticed me. Ten slimes? I mean, how's he gonna count? Do I have to bring him, like, the ear of every slime so that he can tell? And do slimes have ears? What you got? If you're going to keep mining, you should build a furnace. Craft a furnace. Okay. Forging ahead. Initiation. If you can slay ten slimes, you'll have earned your place in the Adventurer's Guild. What does it take to build a furnace? 20 copper ore and 25 stone. I have 18. So close. Ooh, hello, Max. Oh, I love you too, big guy. There, you won't get there. Oh, you were cleaning yourself. That's cute. Take care of our plants. 
Ooh, potatoes. Potatoes, potatoes, potatoes. Sometimes you get multiples, but in this case you get one for each time you harvest. How sad. I'm not a good enough farmer, I just kind of leave the other potatoes at the bottom. Just, I don't feel like digging them up. Too much work. At least that's what I tell myself. It's not my fault. Fill you up. Have you done anything? I haven't encountered any crows yet. God, you guys are worthless. You know that? There's crows when you're not here, and then you're here, and, you know, you don't even do anything. The crows were just kind of like, yeah, we're, we're bored with this farm. I wish I could see the crop behind him. That would be quite nice. I like how he's playing around in the grass. You, I'm going to make a nice sort of tool colored since you're my tool chest. You, I mean your random odds and sods, so I'll make your random color like purple. There we go. Fill you up. Brown. Put in my watering can. Mm. I'm going to keep these things. I think today we're going to clear up some trees because I really need the wood, to be honest. Um, oh, it's Mayor Lewis's birthday, so we definitely need to get him. And I, I, I think actually I'll give him a potato. I mean, I grew it on my farm. I think that's a nice thing to do. We need to go see Gunther and take all of these things that he can tell us about. Do, 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 do. And maybe we can get Clint to open this geode for us. That would be nice. Of course, we'll also go ahead and check to see if there's any freebies. Ooh, some free dandelions. What are you? A leak. There's so much stuff out today. Hello, Harvey, correct? Let me just come behind. I mean, we're friends here. Mm, I'm struggling to make ends meet. I don't have enough patience. That's unfortunate. I mean, it's a 1 to 28 ratio, so you should have plenty, right? How expensive is it to live in this town? I don't pay any taxes. I guess I should try to get patience from the neighboring towns. From what I hear, it's quite far. I mean, too far to go shopping for cloth, that is. Let me just confirm. Yes, it is Mayor Lewis's birthday. What's on the quest chart? I am looking for someone to bring me 15 copper ores as part of a local geological survey. Clint. Uh, I mean, yeah, how much time do I have? Because I don't think I'm going to be doing that today. I have two days, so if I have a lucky day, I can do that. Hello, Pierre. How are you? Uh, I've got those behind-the-counter blues. I'm sorry, man. Sell you some of my potatoes. I'll, I'll keep the dandelions. Sell you a leek. <laughs> Buy three potato seeds to replace the three I harvested. And let's go say hello to your family. I can't say hello to any of them. Darn. I guess... Hmm. They're just kind of meditating. Oh, hey, George. Who's pushing your wheelchair? Aren't you cold? They don't make sweaters like they used to. Sure, I guess, man. I mean, if you wanted a nice sweater, I could, you know, maybe order one. Uh, I'm sorry, George. You're just bitter. Aw. Hello, Alex. Hey. What, you want to talk to me? I'm busy. Yeah, it is hard catching a ball and talking at the same time. Nobody's even playing with you. I can play. See if the mayor's in his house. He is not. 
Oh, there you are, Mayor. Good morning. I've been Mayor of Pelican Town for over 20 years. No one ever runs against me when it's time for an election. I like to think that it means I'm doing my job well. That or nobody really, like, even if you're a bad mayor, in order for someone to run against you, not only would they need to think that they could do a better job than you, but they would also want to do the job and put the effort into it. Would you like a potato? I grew it just for you, Mayor. You remembered my birthday. Thank you. This is great. You're welcome, Lewis. Ooh, two hearts. Really? The, ma the mayor is like our biggest fan at the moment. We've met everybody, it seems, but nobody really likes me except for Lewis. I like being mayor. That's good. You should enjoy your job. It makes it so that you do a better one. What do you guys have for me? Ornamental fan. More stuff for Gunther. Awesome. Is there something down here? Oh, well, that was convenient. Prehistoric rib. Even more stuff for Gunther. This is perfect. What do you mean this was not a lucky day? Archaeological office open 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Hello, Gunther. I've got plenty of things to donate. We will put the fan over here by the pot. Amethyst we'll put here. Quartz we will put here. The earth stone we will put here. And the prehistoric rib we'll put up here. And apparently we have a reward from Gunther. What you got for me? Nine color flower seeds? Thank you, Gunther. You're just willing to make me rich. Let's see what these things are. Earth crystal, a resinous substance found near the surface. That's all you really know? Quartz, a clear crystal commonly found in caves and mines. Cool. Amethyst, a purple variant of quartz. Also cool. Ornamental fan. This exquisite fan most likely belonged to a noble woman. Historians believe that the, f the valley was a popular sixth era vacation spot for the wealthy. When was the sixth era? Hmm. Prehistoric rib. Little gouge marks on the side suggest that this rib was someone's dinner. Delicious. Prehistoric people were eating better than I am. I have yet to eat anything. I'm just, I'm fasting. I'm like a monk. I'm going around trying to get everyone to like me while I refuse to eat. Hello, Clint. Don't you have work to do? Whoa. Dang, Clint. Fine. Just business. You're just so bitter that you're going to have to do your job for the first time ever. Ooh, what's this? Looks like a little thing of juice. Thunder egg. I think that's for Gunther, actually, so we will be going right back to Gunther. This is kind of funny. Donate to museum. And you, I will put over here. I'll go over there later. I don't feel like doing it right now. I mean, I've got more stuff to plant on my farm. And then I still have to take care of all those trees. I can't believe you gave me nine cauliflower seeds. That's pretty nice. Actually, I should check out the beach, see if there's any, you know, shells and whatnot lying around that I can make a little bit of a profit off of. Hello, Elliot, and say hello to him. Hello, I hope your new farming life is panning out as you'd hoped. Yeah, yeah, I mean, about as much as you can expect. I'm not working for Joja, no call center. I get up super duper early every morning. What you got? some clay. I like how you have the little sun on your house. Can I say hello to you? Hello. Hi, Radio Face. Hey, Emily. Do you raise sheep in your barn? You can turn their wool into beautiful bolts of cloth. I bet you would love some cloth since it's hard to buy. Unfortunately, I don't even have a barn yet. You'll need a loom though. You can make them yourself if you know the crafting recipe. Isn't that true of most objects? Your sister is not here. Unfortunately, I thought I'd be able to say hi to all of you guys. Hello, Sam. Oh, it's a nice day, isn't it? Indeed. And hello to you, Abigail. Oh man, I've been pushing off my homework all weekend. Looks like I'll be pulling another all-nighter. That sucks. I remember those days. Hi there, mister. Hey, Vincent. 
your mom in? Uh, no. It would appear you are a latchkey kid on Sundays, Vincent. Oh yeah, I was going back to my farm, actually. Wait, Abigail, let's go for a walk. Uh, it's a nice day, isn't it? You gonna go play your flute somewhere now? Abigail, you're really slow. Oh, Leah's not in. Sorry, Abigail, I've got some more foraging to do. I uh, gotta see if there's some spring onions down here. Hello, Leah. If you hear any banging from inside my hut, it's probably just me working on one of my sculptures. Okay, so it's not you, like, torturing someone. That's good to know. Another dandelion. And horseradish. Oh, yeah, look at these spring... Um, uh, I'll get rid of you, and hopefully I have enough room. Cool. More? Is there more further down too? No, that's it. Okay. Man, there were a lot of them today. What do you mean the spirits are angry today? Luck will not be on my side. I seem to have great luck right now. Provided it doesn't, you know, turn against me. That would be unfortunate. I have no idea where I'm going, by the way. <laughs> I'm just kind of following the bridges, hoping I can eventually get back to my farm. Oh, there's no more music. I appreciate that the game does not just continuously loop its music forever to the point where it gets kind of annoying. But at the same time, I really wish that it didn't simply turn off either. Ooh, let's go say hello to Marnie. And Jazz. Um, would you like a seashell, Jazz? Thank you. You're welcome. Um, do, do you want something? No, I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Sorry. You did accept my gift, however. Would you like a horseradish? I guess I'll take it. Aw. Hey there, it's good to see you. Same. Feel free to visit us anytime you please. I'm doing that right now. You burrito dunce. Shane. I'm busy, can't you tell? Hey, would you like an onion? I don't really like this. Okay then. You guys are really picky. I mean, it's free stuff that someone is giving you. Even if it's not some, I'm not giving you garbage. You don't have to love it to just be appreciative of the fact that I gave you a gift. A little pretentious, aren't you? Uh, let's see, I've got nine cauliflower seeds, yeah, uh, let's go ahead and just put them over here. I'll need to make another scarecrow, but, you know, I'll make some good money off of it. That's three, six, and nine, and I'm sorry, I know I gave you my guarantee of safety, but at this point you are in the way. And you're going to be in the way at some point, so... Just the way it's got to be, my friend. I will sell you, and you, and you. I'm going to keep the dandelions. Maybe use those as gifts. Hopefully somebody would actually appreciate it instead of being jerks about it. Make another scarecrow. Get my watering can. And you know, I kind of like this little slight oscillation that my scarecrows are doing. It's not a boring straight line. I mean, you could find out what the period and wavelength of this is, I guess. If by period, the time scale is how fast I walk. <laughs> All right, now we really, no, you don't go in there. I gotta stop doing that. Um, I'll hang on to all of you. I need to chop some wood. I'm running horribly, horribly low on wood. 
I just, I keep spending all of it. I can't help myself. It's burning a hole in my fireplace. fairly low on stamina too. Uh, the days just kind of escaped me. But I guess that's part of the charm of Stardew Valley is it's a relaxing game and there's low pressure but the days and your energy do kind of tick away just fast enough to provide a little bit of pressure on you. Okay I'm starting to feel exhausted. I've got 53 wood so I basically paid for one of my scarecrows right there. Not at the end of the world. Wait, I may be able to make a uh, a field snack. Acorn, maple seed, pine cone. I have an acorn. Oh, I don't have any maple seeds, unfortunately. Well, it was worth a shot. Let's go check out the bar, I guess. See if anybody is out and about. A little bit early, and this has been a fairly short episode. There haven't been any real major cutscenes or anything like that that would drag it out. No accidental gameplay. Hello, Clint. Okay. What about you, Marnie? Uh, I wasn't very productive today. I was. It was a good day. Pam seems out of it. Better leave her alone right now. Ah, you're pretty toasted, huh, Pam? Emily? Nope. Gus? Hi there, Radio Face. I'm glad to see you. You're always welcome here. Now give me your money. You see, this is so expensive. I mean, think about this pizza right here. This is 20 fish. 20 fish! <laughs> Cranberry sauce? How unseasonal. Anybody over here playing pool? No? Darn. Alright, let's... No, no, I don't... This takes quite a lot of time. Maybe on another day. I know luck also affects how the arcade goes a little bit, and so on a bad luck day, it's not exactly ideal to play it. So we're just going to go to bed. Bit of an early day going to bed, you know, at 10.20 at night. Probably be 11 by the time we get there. That's pretty. And, you know, we'll just sleep and have get ready for a nice busy day tomorrow. So good night, Maxwell. Sleep well in sweet dreams. You're Feel free to cuddle me if you would like. I really ought to get you a little pet bed. And let's see what sort of money we've earned. What sort of dreams we have. Level 2 forging, plus 1 axe proficiency, new cooking recipe, survival burger. That's an interesting recipe. 150 foraging, so the clan was worth 50. I mean, spring onions, the only reason they made us really anything is because of the large amounts, but it's better than nothing. Little progress is better than no progress. Day 8. That is it for me today. This has been Episode 7, Day 7 of Stardew Valley. With me, Radio Face, on Rainy Roof Farm. And if you like the content, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you think. And if you really like it, always, please subscribe. I could use your help. That's it for me, so have a good day. Bye-bye now.